Well, hello, Ambassador Church. Uh, as you know, the session has decided that we will begin worshiping again together as a church family beginning this Sunday, uh, meeting outside for the first few weeks until we can um, know what better the future holds. But we are so excited to be able to gather together again, Lord willing, uh, to worship him and to see one another face to face, even if it's, if it's from a distance. Uh, we will still be going through some different phases and it will involve social distancing. Uh, but again, we are just so excited to be able to come back together. Um, we will send out more information and specific instructions for what Sunday will look like via email. So just be on the lookout for that um, tomorrow and the days ahead. Um, but we also recognize that this time has been really hard and especially, I think, hard for our uh, younger children. Um, and they are going to be eager to see everybody again as well. I'm so thankful for Rachel, our Director of Children's Ministry, and all that she has done in this time to provide uh, resources for our children in worship, video lessons and activities and crafts, and I hope you've been able to take advantage of those. And as we start coming back uh, together as a church, uh, we know there are a lot of questions, particularly surrounding how will this impact our children and, and younger families with younger children. Uh, Rachel and I just wanted to take a minute and reach out and let you know what we're planning and praying for in terms of children's ministry in the, in the days ahead um, and to address a few questions that uh, you may have. And one of those questions is, what can families of younger children expect when they come back, Rachel? So I'll let you answer that. When we come back, we're going to have a family worship service. So that means we're not going to have nurseries, kingdom kids classes, or any of our kid events right now. Uh, so kids will stay with their families during the worship service and also practice social distancing. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but we, uh, we will do everything we can to help with that. Uh, when do you think uh, kids' programs will get started back? A lot of that just kind of depends on how everything unfolds with um, recommendations. Um, I'm really thankful for all of our elders and for the time and prayer that they put in to lead our church well through this. And um, it is hard to maintain social distancing in a kid's program, so to respect our volunteers and their safety right now, um, well, it'll probably be a while before we come back to our regular kids' events and programs. Yeah. Um, but until that time, we'll continue to do the kids' message on video online, provide activities, crafts, kids' bulletins. We'll do the same Sunday mornings. Um, we'll provide activities for them to do during the service and crayons and stuff like that. That's good. One, uh, one question that's been already been asked uh, a number of times is what about VBS, Vacation Bible School? VBS is a great, one of our best summer outreaches and as well as a special time for our kids. Uh, so what are the plans for that now that it's been changed because of the virus? So we're committed to doing a VBS program. Um, we are hoping right now to do a, mod a modified VBS weekend program, mm -hmm. August 14th through the 16th. So everyone go ahead and mark your calendars right now because we'd love for yeah, you to cool. be there. And we look forward to releasing more information about that in the weeks to come. Good. Yeah. VBS takes a lot of planning. Uh, already had a lot uh, earlier on. And so um, why, why is it important that we reschedule VBS with all that goes into it? VBS is, is one of my favorite weeks of the year. Um, and it's such a great outreach program for our kids, for our community. Um, just as a church, we get to come alongside of each other and serve um, in building God's kingdom and investing and pouring into these kids intentionally for a whole week. Mm -hmm. um, they come away with a deeper understanding of God's love for them. And it's just great to see them grow throughout that week. Yeah, we're excited about that time. And we're praying that it will happen. Um, well, thanks for all that you're doing for our families and for our, particularly for our young children. And thank you, parents, for uh, not only for your love for your children, but your love for the Lord and your love and support uh, for your church. And while these days are hard, uh, they are good in God's providence. And we look forward to seeing um, how he uses them. And also uh, we look forward to again gathering together as we come back uh, for worship. We're praying that in these days you do not lose heart or grow weary in doing the good that you are doing. Uh, and just remember that the Lord promises in due season we will reap the reward of that faithfulness and steadfast love. So if you have any other questions about whether it's about Kingdom Kids or just about our return to worship, um, please feel free to uh, reach out to me or to Rachel. 
uh, of course, to our elders as well. And we'll be sending out more information in the days ahead about what that will look like. Uh, but in the meantime, we're excited to see you on Sunday and, uh, and look forward to being back together again.